the world's most romantic execution. King Henry summoned a swordmaster from France to execute Anne Boleyn, ensuring she wouldn't suffer. King Henry VIII struggled to marry his great love, Anne Boleyn, by seeking a divorce from Catherine of Aragon, but the Catholic Church did not grant permission. Consequently, he established the Church of England, annulling his marriage to Catherine and married Anne Boleyn. However, when Anne failed to bear a male heir, she faced palace intrigues and pressure. She was accused of infidelity and incest, tried and sentenced to death. Instead of having her executed with an ax, Henry brought a swordmaster from France to execute Anne. But did this romantic gesture signify the king's enduring love for her? No, it did not. Henry did it to appear merciful. He had called for the executioner even before Anne's trial verdict. There was never a chance of her being declared innocent. Beheading with a sword offered a swift, clean death, unlike with an ax, which could be slow and painful. Often, the executioner would miss the neck, hacking at the back and shoulders until the head was severed. Moreover, Anne was the anointed Queen of England. Henry knew that European royal houses would be appalled by her execution. Thus, employing a swordsman might have been a political move. Giving her a more dignified death made Henry seem more humane, or so he believed. Ultimately, could anyone genuinely believe that Henry's choice of a swordsman over an axeman to execute his wife meant he still loved her? Would you behead the person you loved? I think not. By the way, I have a nice video about executioners on the channel. If you have time, you should see it.